Hi YouTube, this is my Perler Bee tutorial video thing and we're gonna make this little angry bird thing, guy, whatever way it's supposed to be. And yeah, so Perler Bee, just to let you know they're like, um, these things. And you put them on pegboards like you make designs. Then you put wax paper and you iron it, and it irons into whatever you created. <laughs> that makes sense. And you'll also need your, your iron on medium high. And if it doesn't say medium high, then I'll be on the cotton linen setting. I'm going to put this thing here, and I always start on this side. I don't know why, so that's how I'll do it. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the top row will be three blacks. So there's three, and the second row, you're gonna first you're gonna put two blacks, and after you put two black beads, you'll put three reds. So one black, two blacks. And then you're going to put three reds right next to it. And just to let you know, this is how you start the row. You start it, like, over there. So, we always start on this side, so that's how it should look so far. So then after you put those three, you're going to put two after that. And the row is finished. So now, the next row, you'll start out one so you'll go out again and then you'll put two reds then you'll get another black and then you'll put four more reds so i put four reds and then you can put a black and then on the next row we'll start off the black again but instead of going out you're going to go in so will be like that then after that you're gonna put another black and then you'll put six reds so you just end it with a black and then the next row you're gonna go right under it you're not going in or out you just just right under it and then you're gonna put two reds and then a black and then after that you'll put five reds five reds one two three four and then you finish the row and you just put a black after it now this row the next row you're going to start under it again, but then you're going to have to skip a peg and go back. So it'll just be in the middle like of nowhere like that. You'll see what happens in the next row. So after that, you're going to put four, I mean, sorry, three reds. So there I have three reds. So then after you put those three reds, you're going to put two blacks, one red, and two blacks again. So two blacks, one red, and two blacks again. Then finish the row and put another black. So that will be three blacks. So now you have to put a gray under the black one over there, as you can see, and then you're going to put a black next to it, and then you'll put four reds, so like that, so like a one, two, three, four. So, so far, it should look kind of like this.
So after those four reds, we're going to put a white and then three black. Then we'll put white, red, and then black. Now, then we'll put white, black, white, black, and then white again. Then you put a red and a black. Then you put gray, black, and then you put five reds. Then you put three whites. Then you put two reds and finish the row with a black. Now for this row, we'll put one black, then we'll skip a peg and put another black, then we'll put four reds. After you put the four red beads, you will put five yellows. After you put five yellows, you'll end the row with a black bead. Now you will start the next row under right there then you will put three red after you put three red beads you'll put two white beads and then three yellow ones then you will put a white bead and a black bead Now the next row you will in one bead so like that and then you'll put another black and after that you'll put six white beads. After you just finish it with a black. Now this is the last row. You will put six black beads right under the white. Just like that and now we'll get to the ironing part so i usually iron my stuff on this piece of wood i'm not sure why this protects the table so what you do is get your wax paper or your parchment paper get your iron and place it on your design and you're going to move in circular motions do this for about 30 seconds. Once it's been 30 seconds, check if it's been melted. If you see it kind of like this, they're kind of melting together. And if you, it depends how you want it. If you want it to be like this, where you can really see the circles, then have it like that. But if you want it to be more flat and Keep ironing it as much as you want. So when I iron perler beads, I have a trick. What I usually do to people say that you have to let it cool down and everything, and it takes a while. So what I do, I just flip it over, and I carefully peel off the board, and then. I get another piece of ironing paper and I go ahead and iron it. There's no reason why you should be waiting. I want you to think you ironed it enough. Flip it over to the other side that you ironed before. See if it's really hot and if it's not that hot, and go ahead and peel off the paper. And then just wait a while to peel off the other one, like another minute or so. 
so that's how mine is and yeah thank you for watching and comment this video and subscribe if you want me to make more tutorial things on these and feel free to send requests so yeah thanks for watching Oh, and one thing, I can make almost anything, like I made this, and maybe I'll post a video of stuff that I made so far, but I think about doing a lot of things.